Why are there so many cover-ups in churches? There was a time when the headlines uh, were dominated with stories of cover-ups of sexual abuse by various Roman Catholic priests and cover-ups from bishops and archbishops and cardinals. And eventually, those same kinds of charges began to be laid at the feet of some prominent evangelical churches and some people in positions of leadership in the evangelical world. And so, uh, sort of, me too came to the evangelical church. And typically, the issue has been less about the fact that these great sins happened because they're going to. Uh, The greater issue is that when these sins are found out, far too often churches and parachurch organizations choose to cover up. Why is that? Well, there are two reasons for that. One of the great, uh, I would argue, unfair elements of this whole thing. I I understand and and agree with the importance of bringing these great evil deeds out into the light. But I think there is uh, a... uh, an anachronistic application of justice. That is, uh, we take the standards that we now have about uh, bringing these things into the light and we apply it to a time when the broader culture in general, not just the church, but everybody didn't talk about these things. These things were not brought to light. And so it's very easy to go back and say, well, they're wicked and evil because 30 years ago they didn't do what we would do today. Well, Yeah, that's certainly a sign of weakness, but it's a sign of weakness that would be common to all of us because nobody did that 30 years ago. It doesn't mean they're especially evil people. A second reason is because the church is that place where we believe in forgiveness. We believe in the power of the gospel. Now, I'm not saying that it's a proper application of that to treat uh, abusers as if there's nothing to worry about. I don't believe that at all. But I understand that impetus that says someone's come to us, they've confessed this horrible thing, Jesus has died for this horrible thing, and they're forgiven, and we want them to be able to live in light of this forgiveness, etc. At the end of the day, however, I would make this argument. The real reason there's so many cover-ups It's the same reason why there are cover-ups in the Roman Catholic Church and cover-ups in Hollywood and cover-ups in Washington. We cover up our sins because they embarrass us. And we don't have to be necessarily the one guilty of the sin ourselves, but if someone in our church has harmed a child, we don't want the world to think of our church as an unsafe place. We don't want the world to know that we weren't watching as carefully as we should have. We don't want the world to think ill of us. This, of course, like the other arguments, these are not justifications for doing the wrong thing. By any stretch of the imagination, please don't hear them that way. They're instead explanations about why it happens. And the truth is, we all face that temptation. It doesn't have to be this particular sin in this particular context that drives us towards covering up. We all like to sweep our own sins and the sins of those that we care about under the rug. What an amazing irony that actually the gospel says that the only way for our sins to be covered is for us to expose them, to reveal them, to confess them. You let them out into the air and the grace of God blows them away. You sweep them under the rug And they fester and rot and draw attention. And God reminds us that he will not be mocked. And what we hide, he will reveal. I'm praying 
that the evangelical church is learning this lesson and that we will be able to look back and say, yeah, we had that wrong. And by God's grace, we're doing better.